Donald Trump has a famously loyal following. So loyal, he once said, Where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? It's like incredible. But that loyalty does have its limits. And that limit is Bud Light. Not even the most popular conservative figure in a generation can convince his followers to drink America's former best-selling beer. Trump wrote on Truth Social, the Bud Light ad was a mistake of epic proportions. Talking about the social media spot by transgender TikTok star Dylan Mulvaney that soured many beer drinkers on the brand. But he goes on to say Anheuser-Busch is not a woke company. He lists a slew of reasons why it's a great American brand that perhaps deserves a second chance. What do you think? Here's what former Anheuser-Busch executive Anson Frerix thinks. These are just like literally talking points that they also gave to Dana White, that they also gave to Peyton Manning. So they're obviously giving a lot of money to Donald Trump as well. And it looks inauthentic. And Trump's followers overwhelmingly are not buying it. Reply after reply shows this is one Trump plea they can't stand behind. Of course, this post didn't come out of nowhere. A lobbyist for the company is hosting a fundraiser for Trump next month. They've done a nice job in terms of getting Donald Trump to ask people to give him a second chance. I just think the company can do a better job itself asking for a second chance. And that's what it just hasn't done. And that seems to be the general consensus. It's been nearly a year since the Mulvaney Post and since the marketing VP said this. Bud Light had been kind of a brand of fratty, kind of out of touch humor. And it was really important <laughs> that we had another approach. Without apology for that statement, Anheuser-Busch says they're getting back to the humor their customers are accustomed to in a 60-second Super Bowl spot. I wish Peyton Manning was my best friend. Aww. How we doing? Hey. You know, Bud Light wasn't built overnight. Budweiser wasn't built overnight. It takes a number of years. But unfortunately, as we see in today's age, you can lose that trust and you lose those consumers almost overnight. And they're just not going to come back just because you put up a you know one funny commercial or you have one Peyton Manning Super Bowl ad. Frerick says they'd be better off spending the several million dollars to say sorry. Ooh.